everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a summer favorites video. I know it's September 1st today and I am so amazed about how fast the summer went. We are into almost fall. The weather is starting to cool down up here in Canada a little bit. It's unseasonably, unseasonably? Unseasonably cool this, uh, this summer. That being said, I have a couple products for you guys. I have some makeup products, some hair care, some skincare, and I'm really excited to share with you, tell you guys what I'm using. But before we get into this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up to show me that you like what I'm doing here on my channel, and hit that subscribe button down below. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday, and I know you don't want to miss them. So let's get into this. So the first thing I'm going to do is my makeup favorites. So the first thing that I have been loving for definitely this summer, I kind of fell into love with it, is the Tarte Shape Tape. I think I got my first two of this last summer. I believe it came out last summer. Everyone loves these products, that's nothing new. I have just been reaching for them more so than I normally do. My next favorite is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I bought this last year as a tan shade and I really didn't like it last summer, but this summer I've been loving it. I don't know if it's because my skin has changed a little bit or what's going on with it, but that is a beautiful, medium, buildable coverage foundation that I really love. Next up, I've been totally obsessed with the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. It's a co highly contour trio, but I mean, you can't use these for contouring. So it has three shades and I'll swatch them here for you. Like, do you just see those? That's a beautiful eyeshadow shade for my skin tone. The white one's a little bit white, but the scold one is amazing. It's what I'm wearing today. And it gives this beautiful glow. The white one I have used as well, which I also love. I just think that it's too white for me right now. Maybe in the winter it'll be a better match. But this, so pigmented. I think this is like $15, but I got it on sale for like $10, I think. So amazing. Love it. So the next thing that I have been loving is mascaras, and I have three of them here. So the first one is the YSL The Shock Mascara. This is ridiculously expensive, but amazing. I love it so much. It's definitely a wet formula. It has not dried out at all since I've gotten it. This just really helps build my really tiny little lashes up to a really nice volume. So I love that one. The next one I love is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I think I have like five tubes of these floating around. It's super duper duper affordable. It just gives you, it says false lash effect mascara and for the price, it really does do that. You're not gonna get like beautiful like Huda Beauty lashes that are amazing, but for just mascara, it does an amazing job. And then the last one I've been loving is the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. I actually tried this with when I first got it and I hated it. So I put it in my drawer and I put it away. And then I was finding that I was having a hard time doing my lower lashes. So I tried this again and it has that extremely small little opposite side thing there, right at the top there. And that's amazing to do your bottom lashes. And I've also actually been loving this as my mascara before I put on falsies. I did that today and I find that it just gives my lashes enough lift because I think it's a very lightweight formula. It actually allows my lashes to hold a curl better. So when I put on my lashes, they stick together better. So I've been loving that. The final makeup product is my, bam, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This isn't a surprise if you watch my videos. It's what I use all the time. It's becoming very well loved already and I can't wait to work with it more and once I get maybe more palettes, see what launches in the fall, see how this goes well with everything else because it does have a lot of everyday uses. It is very warm toned, which is what I go for. So if you're into more cooler tones, this might not be the palette for you, but it really does give you almost every neutral, natural base shade that you need. And then you can maybe buy more fun palettes to, you know, complement it. So that's it for makeup. So I'm gonna go into skincare now. So I have the Simple Cleansing Micellar Water. This is a tried and true product. Everyone, not everyone loves it, but a lot of people love it. It really does help get makeup off your skin. I use it to get the like leftover mascara 
an eyeliner that I have when I take all my makeup off with my next favorite, which is the Pond's Cold Cream. We'll talk about that in a sec. But this just helps remove all the excess residue from taking off my makeup. So the Pond's Cold Cream is the next one. I use this to remove my makeup. Uh, go check out my skincare routine video to see how this works, but you just kind of put it on and it, you massage it into your face with no water or anything like that. And it really does just like take all your makeup off and you just wipe it off with a cloth and then give your face a quick wash afterwards. And it's amazing. This is a cult classic old product that most people will see and be like, oh, my mom used that, I don't want it, or whatever, it's so old. But it really does work. I have not found a makeup remover that I like better than this, and I've been, you know, I used this when I was in high school and elementary school, I went away from it, and I'm back to it. I haven't found anything I like better. All right, guys, so the final product I have here is the Marc Anthony Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter Volume Mascara. This stuff does leave your hair feeling a little bit hard, but I love the smell of this. This stuff smells so amazing. So I use it when I need my hair to stay in place. So if you can get over the, you know, hairspray feeling when you're doing your hair a certain way, then this is great. If you're just want, looking for something to, you know, kind of hold your curl or something like that, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this because it doesn't give you that, you know, like, run your fingers through kind of feel. But that being said, I really like it. I've been enjoying it. So some non makeup things that I've been loving. I've been obsessed with Game of Thrones. I'm not gonna talk about it just because I don't know who was watching, who has seen the season finale. I know a couple of my friends still haven't seen it. So I am going to not say any spoilers, but I'm just gonna say, holy shit, like, holy, it's so good. I've also been really into RuPaul's Drag Race. I don't know how it took me so long to get into it, but I think I've watched like four seasons this summer. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. If you're into something lighthearted, funny, like very like sassy, diva-ish, go check it out. I love it so much. So comment down below. I love Drag Race. Talk to me about it. I think it's amazing. So that's all my favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will probably not do monthly favorites. I might do like seasonal favorites. So this is my summer favorite. So I'll see you guys probably at the end of fall for my fall favorites video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.